It is evening, four strangers check in at the Seamount Hotel in Gambia's capital Banjul. None of them knows the other three the first is 69 years old, Karanja Kamani, a professor in the Institute of Development at the University of Nairobi, Kenya. He's assigned a room on the fourth floor, East Wing. Gobal Melusi, about 70, a comrade and a citizen of Zimbabwe's second to check in and has allocated a room on the fifth floor of the South Wing. Third to clock in is about 50, Chinike Kiyamaka, a pastor of the church inside Africa, CIA, in Lagos, Nigeria. Kiyamaka is booked on the sixth floor of the West Wing. Last to report is another stranger, about 40, his name is Saif Tahir, an engineer formerly employed by the Ministry of Defense in the Tripoli, Libya. He is assigned a room on the third floor North Wing. In less than an hour after the booking all the four strangers, receives a call from the same caller who declines to divulge details about himself, he only identifies himself as the guide and gives the same set of instructions about opening their briefcases using a similar code, 1, 1, 2, 4. The code number fails to open the briefcases in all the four cases. Meanwhile, Dr. Abiola Afalabi, another guest at the hotel hears someone call him from behind. From the introduction, Dr. Afalabi meets Fiona McKenzie, a reporter with Gambia News, a Gambian who was adopted by Ian and Elspeth McKenzie Scottish missionaries. She was brought up in Edinburgh, Scotland and is now back to Banjul. An interview ensues. Dr. Abiola Afalabi, is disclosed, he schooled at Harvard University in the U.S. and currently teaches at the University of Ibadan. He's 45 and is an advisor to the heads of state. Africa's heads of state are soon to start a debate at Pinnacle Hotel, a hotel that is two streets from the Seamount Hotel. The heads of state are soon to discuss a document titled Way Omega. If adopted, Way Omega is expected to change African politics drastically, there are to be no more military coups, no more rigged elections, no more foul play. Dr. Abiola Afalabi is the author of Failure of States in which he is so pessimistic about Africa's state of affairs and yet in Way Omega he's very optimistic, he was invited by the presidents. The interview ends prematurely after her boss calls her to the office. On the other hand, 49 foreign heads of state are in Banjul for the summit. They still look happy. For Gambians, the presence of so many visiting dignitaries isn't fun. Here, before dignitaries came, bulldozers were dispatched at night in slum clearance exercises, demolished roadside kiosks on which whole families depended upon. Roads got rare layers of tarmac at times of maximum traffic. Checkpoints sprouted everywhere. Water taps dried up because all water had to go to the new water foundations built to mesmerize visitors. Catastrophes can happen even at summits. All heads of state are to be put in one hotel, Pinnacle Hotel so that security is concentrated at the hotel instead of having 50 places to be manned. A few challenges are noted on how well to take care of the dignitaries in terms of sitting arrangement at the summit and the hotel arrangement. Thanks for watching. Continue to chapter 2 like and subscribe.